Good afternoon, you guys. Welcome to my page. My name is Marlene, and this is Marley Grace Creations. Welcome to my Facebook page. And if you're joining me on YouTube, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, tonight, we are going to play with some, I guess is the right word, some IOD molds that just came out, and they are a limited edition. Um, so, we're going to see what they do. Hey, Diane, how are you? Um, I just, probably 10 minutes ago, put a coat of cashew paint on this because I might need to use it as a surface in just a little bit. Hey, Brenda Lynn. So I'm just drying this paint. So in case I just need this surface. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Sarah. Hey, you guys. Thank you for hopping on. I'm going to put paper on this, but this had some writing on it from the Dollar General or wherever, and I, well, it looks like the spring shop. Looks like something from the spring shop, so that would be Hobby Lobby, but anyway, it was on there. Cheap, cheap, cheap aisle. It was $12, but it wasn't the day I bought it, so. Hey, Patricia. Trish. Sorry. <laughs> I do that occasionally because it doesn't dawn on me until I see the whole name. Anyway, good evening, you guys. This will be dry shortly, so let's just move it over there to the side. And I'm going to get some paint on this one because I might use this one as well. So when I get these molds ready, um, I'm going to do one with clay and one with resin. So you can see what they, they do. Um, I ordered this, and it is... Um, it is a special edition. And so if you guys even remotely think you want to get one of these, you might want to get it because I was watching uh, the IOD. Sorry, this is getting low. I'm getting ready to have to fill it up. Um, the IOD sisters the other day and they were talking about, sorry you guys, but it's not going to be here long and there won't be any more. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and order it. And I didn't, and so my dad and I were out at a place today that has some different booths in it, and one of his friends um, has a booth in there, and she sells all kinds of IOD stuff. Now, I'm not an IOD stockist, and you can't buy it from me, and I'm not promoting this. It just happens to be something that I purchased that I wanted. Y'all know how much I love pumpkins, right? And, uh... I do know that that's, that's what they said. Now, I know Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy, and I think um, Tracy from, uh, let's see. Oh, my gosh. How come I can't think of her name? Um, hey, Mary Ann. I'll think of it in a minute. Oh, my goodness, I can't think of her name. Uh, page name. Anyway, um. She sells it. Several people do. So, and if you think, you know, if you want to, if you want to know um, who is a stockist like closest to you, maybe you could go and get some IOD. You can um, look and see who your local stockist is because most everybody has one. And I picked this little plaque up at. Hmm, where did I pick this up? Dollar General, maybe. Um, it's one of their, you know, discounted on sale little things, and I thought it was cute. I um, might have got it at Dollar Tree today. I don't remember. Um, but it's a good piece of wood. It's not a cheap, flimsy piece of wood. So this mold has two pumpkins. And I know some of you are like, is she still making pumpkins? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am, believe it or not. Every time I think I'm done. And then my daughter said, Mom, can you make me a, a basket? Like, not really a basket, a box with feet on it that has pumpkins on it. Kind of like what's on your table. I'm like, okay. So here I am working on something else and... I sold almost all of them that I took to my boo, so yesterday I was working on them. So, hey, Connie. But anyway, I'll get through with pumpkins eventually. 
and we'll start on Christmas before long. I better set that upside down there for a minute. Where's my spray bottle? This always extends your paint and it makes it smooth. I hardly paint anything without my water bottle. So, this can be drying over there. I'm not gonna sit here and dry this because we're gonna, as soon as I get this surface covered, I'm gonna work on those molds and then when I'm done with them, one of them will go on this and hopefully one will go on the other so I can do something with them. So, hey Kathy, hey Connie. So it's just a cute little plaque. It already had the beads and all that stuff. So I thought, what the world, it's just too cute. So, all right, let's set this aside. That was loud, sorry y'all. That was a metal bucket I laid that thing on. Hey Sissa, how are you? All right, here is the mold. Pumpkins. Yes, I know. I'm still doing pumpkins, but I could not pass this up. I just love it so much. And it has all those sweet details. So I'm going to pour one with the resin and I'm doing one with clay just to see, you know, how the details show up and how it works. So I'm going to do the resin first. Hmm. Should I do the, yeah, I'm going to do the resin first. Yeah, I'm gonna do the resin first, y'all. Okay, let me see which cups. These are the ones I marked the other day. And this one's got a C on it. Let me let me make that a little clearer. Y'all, I always like put some lines on mine. This is at number 10. And this one's also at number 10. So I want them to be even. And then I always put a C on one and a Y on one. And one's for clear and one's for yellow because in this bottles, that's what color these are. And this is how I do it. Now you guys will just have to figure out how to measure, um, you know, how to do it your way. Hey, Linda and Betty, how are y'all tonight? Okay, let's see. I need a popsicle stick. I need my stuff. I started cleaning my craft room and it gets worse before it gets better. So, hey, Carolyn. Wow, these are stuck together. Okay. See, one is clear. See, it looks like it's clear as water. And look, this is yellow. So, that's the reason I do that. One's thicker than the other. I think the clears a lot thicker. And so, um, something tells me it's going to need to be mix twice to fill this pumpkin up because it's pretty big. I'm gonna do the big pumpkin resin. So I'm filling up to the line, as close to that line as I can because it needs to be equal parts, as much as you can get it. Okay. It might be just a little bit less clear. Let me just put a few drops in that clear. Okay, that looks good to me. How are you, Betty? Hey, Carolyn. Iceman, how are you? Okay, let's see. I'm just going to pour the clear in the yellow. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't start working until you pour it together. It doesn't matter if you pour the clear into a yellow, yellow into the clear. As long as you get them in there and start stirring pretty quick. Let's get it all out because it won't be even if we don't. And then, so you can see it's cloudy. And as I stir, it's going to get clear. It's all going to incorporate here. And it's going to get real clear like water. And I'll be able to see my popsicle stick in the very bottom. Hey, Ava. Can you tell it's getting clearer already? It was milky. And now it's getting warm. Good evening, Victoria. Hey, Ava. Okay, when it's clear and you can see the very bottom, and I can see the bottom just like it was a drink of water, a, a cup of water, then it's time to pour it. 
You do not need cornstarch. Oh yes, it's gonna definitely take another one. And it doesn't matter um, how you pour it in there or where it stops, cause I'm just gonna keep mixing and pouring till I fill it up. This takes a lot of, um, a lot of resin. Now I can make a bigger batch, but I'd rather make several small ones. It acts faster if it's small. And I don't want to overflow it and waste it either. Okay, that looks pretty even. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to guess. My guess is it might take four of these to fill this pumpkin up. So, there again, you know, that's this mold is pretty big. So, see, it's milky. Can you tell it's just white, milky? It's kind of like... 1%, 2% milk. Hey, Jill, how are you? Okay, it's getting clear. It's barely getting warm. Can you see it's getting clear like water? Okay, when I feel it getting warm and see that it's clear, I just pour. Let me go ahead and pour into the stem. Pour on this side. Huh? It's gonna take a lot of resin for this, y'all. I got a feeling I'm not gonna be able to be, I'm not going to be pouring too many of these pumpkins. Okay, let's do the yellow. That's a little over, so I'll do the next one a little over. Just to match them up. Can y'all see that I'm pouring? Can you even see what I'm doing? Get it right above the line since the yellow is. Mm, looks good. Now I believe I need a little more yellow. Yes, I do. And these don't start reacting until you mix them together. I'm doing great, I hope you are. Hey, Diane. This is OD's brand new mold, new release. I can't remember now what day it was released, but it hasn't been long. Oh, and there's leaves to go with this too, y'all. We gotta pour leaves too. <laughs> See, it's white. See how milky it is? How many does this make? Three or four? Are y'all counting? Has anybody counted? I don't remember. I'm thinking this is number three. Is it three or four? Okay, it's warm. It's clear. It's all incorporated. So let's pour again. Not yet. <laughs> wow. All right, let's do it again. This would be a very expensive little pumpkin. It could be. Right above the line. Three, okay, so this is four. I'm curious. You know what? I bet if I would have paid attention, the new, I, well, the more recent OD molds have, like, how many centimeters, and it tells you, like, dimensions, not, well, dimensions and how much stuff goes in it, but right now i got to watch this. I can't pay attention to that, so. Okay, everybody's saying three, so this is four. I'm hoping I'm going to fill up the pumpkin with this and the leaves, but something tells me I'm not. Let's see how much it's, I don't know, it's getting there. It's getting there. 
Hey, Deborah. Okay, it's getting warm. It's getting clear. Can you see how clear it is now? You can see the bottom? All right, let's pour again, y'all. All right, this is number four. Got to fill this booger up all the way to the edge here. And these cups are not full, okay? Uh, that's, that's full enough right there. So, all the way to the number 10 line, which is about a half a cup each, it takes four. Now, it's starting to get white. You can see it changing in there. It might take it just a little bit. All right, now we got leaves to pour. Let's hope we can get two leaves with one batch. Okay, I don't want to mess with it. Hey, Charita and Deborah, how are y'all? Okay, which one is my C and which one is my Y? This is my C, okay. I'm getting my lines gone. There's yellow. And here's clear. Let me see how much above that line. Okay, let me get just a little bit more yellow. I know y'all can tell I'm pouring, but you really can't tell. All I'm doing is filling to a line. And if I go over one line, you can't take it out, so you just kind of add it to the other line. That's all it is. And then I'm pouring the clear into the yellow. It doesn't matter if you pour the clear into the yellow or the yellow into the clear. How is the weather where you guys are? It was a little bit better today, not so hot. Middle of the day was kind of hot. We've had some more thunder showers this afternoon. Lots of rain. Hey, Mary. Okay. While this is setting, um, it takes about 10 minutes. I'm going to be putting some paper on one of those surfaces over there, and then this will be ready. The thing is, I've got to push this away. I can't take it off. Wonder what, Nancy? 77. It was pretty here today. It was so nice. I took my dad to lunch, and we went in um, a consignment store that has booths, his friend's booth, where I got this, and then we went and got some ice cream. Okay, y'all, I'm going to get two leaves with one pour here. Now, I'm actually going to get another leaf, so let's just do it. I'm going to get that little leaf, too. That is awesome. Now, it's not going in the stems, so what I'm going to do is just pour this, and we'll show you how to get it in the stems. Just take your stick and just kind of push it a little bit, and it'll go. That one's good, it, that one's full. Now, this one is not. Just kind of push it into your stem, and it'll just keep going. Let's get some in this one. I can't move it too much, I hope you, y'all, this is warm. I can feel the heat from that. That's pretty crazy. I guess because it's so much of it, because it does get warm. Okay, the stems are filled. Well, that's a lot of resin. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> Let me throw this stick away and wipe my hands. Get this mess off my hands. Uh, where's my wipes? Here they are. Any difference? No. Um, it's fine, Nancy. It doesn't matter. You pour the clear into the white. Um, of white into the clear. Until the chemicals go together, they don't do anything anyway. I could set the clear in one cup and the yellow in one cup and go upstairs and make a cup of coffee and come back. It wouldn't be any difference than leaving them in your bottle. But as far as like pouring the clear into the yellow or vice versa, I've done both. It works the same. It doesn't matter. It's, the main thing is getting the chemicals completely stirred together because 
one's yellow and one's clear. And when the chemicals go together, it makes this swirly, milky looking thing. And so just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. And what you're doing is incorporating those chemicals. And um, so eventually it'll be clear like water. You can see the bottom. And when you can see the bottom and it's warm, I can feel like just messing with it that it's warm, then it's ready to pour. Thank you, dear. I just ordered the mold. The pumpkin one, Trish, I love it. I love it. It's a lot of resin, but I'm gonna do it with clay in a minute. And it's still gonna take a lot of clay, but you know, I know the details are going to be gorgeous with the resin. I know. That's just resin, the way it works. I want to see how beautiful the details are and how easy it is to get it out of the mold and all that stuff. Okay, well, I got half a leaf poured. I didn't even see the rest of that leaf. That's okay. Let's see if I can maneuver that a little bit, manipulate some of that. Oh, it's there. It just hasn't turned. It's not thick. It's not full, but it's okay. It would still work. So, okay. Until these kind of start getting white, I really can't move them away. So, um, anybody, Carolyn, that sells IOD, you can go on Etsy. Now, I go on Etsy and order, I ordered the, the uh, frames the other day. It's called Frames, and there's Frames 1 and Frames 2, I think. And then um, I was going to order this one, and I thought I did. But I thought, well, let, let me just wait. And so a friend of my dad's has a booth. She's a She teaches art, and she's a, she's a teacher at school, too, or was. But anyway, um, she had some today in her booth, and I was shocked because they go fast. Um the other one is a big Christmas tree. I mean, it's it's a it's a big, you know, it's a big Christmas tree. It's almost the whole thing. And then you get a few little thingies around it. But that Christmas tree is in a mold. I saw it, almost got it, and I thought, well, let me just get this one now. And I probably should have, but I didn't. So anyway, um, it's it's almost the size of this mold. It's that big. It's beautiful, full of details. It was 71 there today, Jerry. That's awesome for y'all, right? Y'all been having some crazy hot weather. We've been having a lot of rain. I took a picture while I got, for some of you that know me well and hear me talk about my sweet Caroline. Um, when I'm crafting, she crafts. And her idea of crafting is um, cutting out with scissors. That child has learned to cut out with scissors and loves it better than anything that I can think that she can think of to do. And first, let me get back to this a minute. For some reason, it never fails. I have one left more than the other. And um, I don't know why that is. I always measure, you know, some, but... I forgot that this morning um, I had some picture frames on my wall that were kind of dark. And I, every time I'd go into my bathroom, I'm like, I really love these, but what do I not love about these? The frames. I didn't like the frames, the color they were. So, Purple Painted Lady. Yes, she's, she sells it too. Tracy. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, I cannot, that makes me so mad. Rustic. Oh, I'll think of it in a little bit. It'll hit my brain, just like, boom. Um, lost you for a while, sorry. Oh my gosh, Nancy. Hey, Cheryl. Um, okay, these are getting white. You can see how white, so I can move them now. And, um, hey, Sue. I can move them now over to the side, and that'll also help because they've warmed up surface underneath them, so now I'm going to move them to a um, cooler place beside me over here on this glass, and that'll help. So I'm going to put these away for now. And, um, I mean, if you stop and think about that, that did not take a half of bottle each, maybe a fourth. Uh, 
maybe a fourth of a bottle each. And this is $18. So about $4 a mold or something like that, four fifty, dollars I would think. But I can't wait to flip it out of there and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to move this to the side over here and let that be cooling off while um, I put some paper that I chose on this in case the big pumpkin uh, yes, Tracy from Scrappy Rustics. Uh, she sells IOD, I do believe. And um, Mara from um, Vintage Retail Therapy also sells it. So, now, this pumpkin is going to have to go this way. Yes, so I'm going to do my paper that way. Thank you, Sarah. I can't believe that I forgot her name. She does all kinds of stuff. She's got all the OD latest. So, okay, I love this. It's got a tinge of orange. I'll show it to you close up in a minute. It, it's got a tinge of orange in it. It's got some rusty brown. And this box edge was already that kind of a cordovan brown. And it kind of looks like this. So I thought, okay, that's perfect. Here's the cream. Here's the brown cordovan color. And then you can see there's some orange in there. See the orange in there? Kind of faded orange. So I think that is going to be... Hey, Lane... I think that's going to be perfect to go on that. All right, so let's decoupage that down and get that trimmed off. And it won't be long, our pumpkin. I can see a spot that I didn't go all the way up on the pumpkin. It's still going to be okay, but that kind of stinks. Now, get this off. It's always a trick. Where's my butter knife? I got a thing today, y'all, when it said that if I didn't reach out to Facebook and I didn't give them some information about me somehow, something, something, that in three days they were going to shut my page down. I'm like, why did I do? Something about um, improper. Uh, something I said, something I used, something, something they didn't like. I think it was a scam. I don't think it was Facebook at all. So if y'all can't find me in three days, I'm, <laughs> I guess it was real. For now, I'm just going to ignore that because I don't want to get a crazy uh, thing on my page. Because people send you to crazy links and ask you all kinds of crazy questions and you, you, you know, you shouldn't tell them stuff. So, I'm not. Okay, let me get this back on here. Yes, it's a link. And it, it the link's not even, it says at the end, Facebook, Meta, 23, 2023, whatever. I'm like, nah, no, no, no. I think it's the same one I got like a year ago. 90 today. And let's see. And the 90 is going to be 75. That is nice. Betty, that is nice weather. That's my kind of weather. Okay, y'all. I'm just going to get a soft brush. Now, you can see that I did not cover all of that up. I just covered the most of it up because it's not going to show through that paper. That is scrapbook paper. Hey, Cheryl. It's scrapbook paper. So, um, it's not going to show through it. And normally, if this was um, like decoupage paper, I would just do a little, you know, row. I call it a row at a time and put it down and, you know, take my time and all that. This is scrapbook paper. It's, it's very forgiving. It's not going to wrinkle or it shouldn't unless I've got some bubbles under here. I'll show you what is important in just a minute, though. Okay. 
You see the edges? See the edges? I got it right there, and I got it right there. Well, if I'm not careful, it will kind of go on that edge and, and get glued on there. And so what would happen is um, then I could not scrape it off even. It would be stuck to the edge of the box, and that would be ugly, and it's hard to it's hard to fix. So always go around and clean the edge of your surface up when you're getting ready to do that. Make sure you don't have any hanging over. See, I had a little on all four sides. Need to get it off. You can always add more, but it's kind of hard to take that off once you get it on there. Um, the paper, I mean. Okay. Now, let me get this hot in Maryland. Was it? It was so nice here today. I'm going to go over the edge at the top and the side, even though I can make it flush, because I want to sand that off really good, like, and make it look like the rest of it. 86 tomorrow, low 78. That's awesome, Gail. I know, I am so ready for fall weather. So ready for fall weather. Oh, I love this paper. Love it. I think it's going to make a pretty little box shelf fitter thing. I'm going to move the Mod Podge because I don't think I'm going to need it anymore. Hey, Laura. All right, let me a little handy dandy tool here. Let me just make sure I don't have any bubbles. Look y'all, I haven't even taken the plastic off this from um, the cup, you know, from buying it. And it works great. So when this gets gross, I'll finally unwrap it and put it in a plastic bag or something. Okay. Gotta dry it before you start sanding your edges off too. I think it needs a little bit more right there. Just take my finger and stick it there. All right. <clears throat> Time for a bowl of chocolate ice cream. Do you have chocolate ice cream every night, Cheryl? I took my dad today, and he always orders strawberry. So today I ordered strawberry too. It was just fun. My favorite's butter pecan though. What's your favorite color? Hey, Melissa, how are you today? I was in my private group last night, and all these ladies are praying for you all day today. Almost every night. It takes a little more elbow grease to get this off. This is not decoupage paper. This is scrapbook paper. So you really can pull towards yourself. But it's, I love the results. Hanging in there, girl. Hey, Emma Kay. Emma, I'm using the new OG pumpkin, the new release. I found one today at a consignment shop in a little town when I took my dad to lunch. Well, that's good, because I know everybody in our public group is, is doing that. All right, y'all. Look at that. It's, it's almost perfect. Can't get much better than that. So nice. Now I'll just take a clean rag and clean that up. But it's all looking good. It's down. Now, 
Let me put that aside. That is finished and ready for a pumpkin. So I'm gonna take the pumpkin out of this that we just did. I think it's a little bit warm, not much. That one might be a little sticky. All right, y'all, let's pop these things out of here. Oh, look at all the details. Look at those details. Isn't that pretty? Hey, Phyllis. Okay, and here's another one for the other side or two together. Now, let's get this huge pumpkin out of here. Look at all these details. I think I have a little extra pour right there. Let me cut. Either that or under pour. I really can't tell. I'll have to look. I can't wait to paint it. Okay. I think it's missing maybe a little hump right there, but we'll have to we paint it and get it on. So that took about three of the 10 mark on the, the little cup that comes in there. I found it today. Look at all these details, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Now I gotta see what's gonna fit over here. Okay, let's get another leaf out of here and see if we can get the stem out. I had to push some resin in that stem area, and it's always, because it's so thin, it's always kind of sticky when you pull it out. It's okay, just lay it down, and it'll get hard as a brick. Look at the details on this little one. And we have one more leaf. This one may be sticky. I can't, no, it's good. That's a pretty leaf, too. That's kind of different. So, okay, we've got four leaves out of resin. And we're gonna do this small pumpkin with um, clay and see how the clay comes out and all that stuff. And if it acts like it's not going to, if it, if you know, if it's hard, then I'll just pour another one with resin. But I think just from the looks of it, as much as I've done it, I think it's gonna be fine. I'm not um, hiding in. Not for um, resin. I've done it by mistake, just not, you know, not paying attention, and it hasn't hurt it. But as a rule, um, no. But when I'm doing clay, always, 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 always. So we're going to do this small pumpkin. Let me get it in the stem, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of leaves too, just to see how they do with the clay. Let me get another big leaf over here. And you guys, don't leave all this cornstarch in there. Dust it really, really well, and then I'll show you in a minute. Pop it out, I call it. Because if you leave it all in there and there's a lot, it's not gonna hurt it. It's just that your clay won't stay in it and it's gonna be hard for you to move it around. So I'll just take it and pop it one good time and what's left usually is perfect. So, yes. Um, no, yes, only the clay. You don't need to put cornstarch or anything in there for the resin. Cheryl. Okay, now we're now this is the clay I bought last time because I could not find the sculpey. But I have since then ordered it, but this is open, so I'm gonna try this one. And a lot of people love it, swear by it, and all that stuff. It's D A S. So if y'all use it, let me know. I have not used I used a pinch of it. No, it doesn't look like I tried it yet. I thought I did. But um, I was telling y'all about Caroline a little bit ago, so I forgot. I gave her a color book today and a pen, 
and in a pen that, you know, you can pop out like four cups. This is stickier than Sculpey so far. Um, I got it, Emma. I got it, girl. Um, this looks like it might be plenty for that, and I might have to get some more. But um, I came back. I forgot. We had to leave in a hurry. Came back in tonight to figure, you know, get all my stuff together. And I walked in. There was paper cut everywhere where she was in here today playing. But she loves cutting with scissors. She has so much fun in here. She helped me um, sand some frames and hold the wax. And she said today, she said, mm, Nana, I love smelling this wax. And I said, I know it smells yummy, don't it? Yes, it does. And I love smelling your paint. And I said, you do? You love smelling paint? I do. She said, and Nana, I love smelling dog food and chicken food. I said, you do? She said, yes. And I love smelling people food. It lets you know what you want to eat. I'm like, I guess you're right about that. <laughs> she, that child cracks me up. <laughs> She's so funny. Uh, she is sweet. Oh my gosh, she's sweet as sugar. She would just stay here and stay here and stay here. It, uh, every time I see her, can I please spend the night? Okay, I can't say I love the clay batter. Oh, she is adorable, Cheryl. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. She is a little diva princess, I'll tell you that. She likes eyeshadow and lipstick and lip gloss and blush and all that stuff. So we're getting ready for church. Man, I have to watch. And she'll say, can I have a little bit of lipstick? Well, I think I really need that kind. I'm like, no, Caroline, it's too dark. Why? I said, because that's adult colors. She says, but why? I said, well, because children are not supposed to be wearing it. But why? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. It's looking good, y'all. I'm getting ready to flip this thing out of here. All right. Yeah, ready to see it. Let me put it on um, one of these big things. You can see it better. Okay, I just start a little bit. You can't really see. I start a little bit, and then I just kind of roll it away. And don't do it hot fast, because then it'll pop it off of here, and it'll take half your clay with you, possibly. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful, and all the details in the leaves and the stems. Woohoo! Y'all look. See all the details? Now that's clay. So, I like them both. I'm thinking I might even like the clay better. I don't know. Let me try a few leaves now. I'm just going to leave this sitting here. The stem on this one is gorgeous. Okay, where can I put this? Move something, Marlene, move it. Okay, too funny, sounds like mine. I said, oh, yes, she does. Uh, did Dollar Tree have any more pumpkins? No, they did not, Ava. The stackable ones? No, they did not. Okay, let me get it. Let's see if I can get it in that stem really good with clay. That's usually the hardest is some of these little skinny, little fine pieces. But let's see how it goes. And a secret to getting all your details is pressure. Pressure on your mold. As much pressure as you can put on it. And I keep the extra clay in my hand. The air can't get to it, keeps it warm. So when you get ready to, when you're done, you get ready to use a piece that's ready or throw it back in your bag. So it keeps it dry. Okay, that stem looks good now. You know, oh, I did cornstarch it already. I was getting ready to say, oh, y'all, I didn't cornstarch it, but I did. I 
cornstarch them all. I'm so used to doing it as I go. Okay. Okay, let me give it some pressure. All right, let's see what we got. See if the stem will come out. I'm not feeling too well tonight. Cheryl, good night, girl. I'm sorry you don't feel good. Okay, the stem came out. The whole thing. Look. I'm having to hold it so it, you know, it doesn't flip out of here. But the stem and all came out. Okay. I'm loving it so far. Let me get, um... Let me see if I have enough here to go in this part, in this mold. I think I do. I think it's going to be just enough. Um, does anybody make molds? And if you do, do you use clay or resin or both? Somebody tell me what to do. I can't be the only one that's making molds. Emma, I'm going to put this right here. Cause I need this. Hey, Kathy. I know. I love it, Emma. You know how much I love pumpkins. Cheryl, I hope you feel better. That chocolate ice cream or to fix whatever's ailing you, ma'am. <laughs> Let's see, I've only used clay. I really like how they turn out. I do too. Made a few molds with the DAS, have you? Or DAS or DAS or however you say it. I don't know. Because still ain't my favorite. Um, Sculpey is my favorite so far. Okay. I've got to get the stem out of here first. Okay, that's going to be a trick. Okay, here it comes. Um, that was not the stem. The stem is in the back. Or is it? Nope, that was just an extra piece of clay. All right, it came off. Okay, y'all. Okay, now. Let's get... I've got to have a Ziploc bag for this. Here it is. Always keep your clay covered up airtight and then put it in a Ziploc bag as well. If you don't, I promise you, you will lose your clay. It will get hard as a brick before you know it. And you will not be able to salvage it. <laughs> I do. I love molds. Girl, I bought two today and... I've already ordered one. I forgot. Um, the frames. I ordered frames. What, did I bring it downstairs? Yes, I did. This one. That's going to be fun to do all kinds of stuff inside this frame. I haven't messed with that at all. That's not a new release, I don't think. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not. It's not old. It's been around a while, but... Okay, now... This one, I'm going to use the small pumpkin on this little... Where is it? Okay. I'm going to use this small pumpkin. It should fit good on this. Yes, it will. It will be cute with a couple of leaves. Okay. I'm going to get this thing painted. I'm going to paint it first. Form Flex. I, I like the Form Flex, but I had a little bit of trouble with the Form Flex. It was a learning curve for me, and that's okay. I'm looking for terracotta and green, y'all. One minute, i got to grab some paint. Terracotta and some green. Here we go. And probably some brown. Let's see. 
we're gonna have to have brown for stem and vine. So, all right, now we're we're in business. I love working with molds, though. They're fun. I like stamps too, though. Now I love working with stamps. All kinds of stamps together. You can, um, let's see, where am I here? I haven't painted this one before. You can um, put this on something and not paint it first, but I don't want to get it all over that um, plaque and have to redo that plaque. Now, I might have to touch it up anyway, but I'm gonna paint it right here, and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna glue it on that plaque and it will be painted. And since that plaque is already painted, it should be good to go. Okay, I'm painting this whole, and I'm using a very, very soft brush. So if you use a soft brush and a light touch, you can do anything with this clay. You just have to, um, be really careful when you're gluing, putting your glue on the back, and I'll show you in a minute. It's gonna be gorgeous, y'all. Terracotta paint. It, um, I found a different brand. Um, Anita's. Anita's has a, a terracotta too at Hobby Lobby. But the um, other brand that I was using, I haven't been able to find it yet. It's empty. That slot is empty. There was like three of them. And they're all empty. So, I just changed brands. This is so cute. Okay, let me get in there around these leaves. Let's see, I'm not sure where I am here. I've got to... Great mold. I love it too, Victoria. I love it too. Um, the, it's not just a... It's not just a... I don't know what the right word is. I mean, it's a, it's a fat, shapely, country look. I mean, the pumpkin is just different. I love the pumpkin um, because it's more of an old-fashioned looking pumpkin to me. All right, let me change. Get some green here. I'm just gonna lay my brush right there because I got a feeling I'll need it again here in a minute. Some green going on. Uh, let me dry that. It'll get a little crust on there. That's okay. Just not a whole lot. Because you don't want it to start cracking. I'm not drying it all the way. I just need to get around this leaf dry. So I don't start dragging that orange into the green. And since green's the dominant color, it probably won't matter, but you know. I'm just being careful. Okay, let's see. What is that? That's another leaf or the rest of the leaf. Yes, it is. And if you make a mistake, it's just like anything else. You just dry it. And you can repaint over part of it if you if you you know went out of lines. It's kind of like coloring in a coloring book. So pretty, y'all. Okay, 
I'm going to show you what I've got so far. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't dump it too much because it'll end up on the ground, but there you go. See all the details? I've got to get below that white. Okay. I'm not sure if that's a leaf right there, but we're going to call it a leaf and we're going to paint that. And now we're going to do the stem to the ground. Everybody's quiet. Are you all holding your breath? <laughs> the ladies in my private group is like, huh, hold your breath, Marlene, hold your breath. Okay, now we're going to get the stem. Then we're going to glue it on that plaque, and then I'm going to add a few leaves to it. And this would be beautiful, like after all this dries, to add some decor wax. And then wipe that, a lot of that off. Just leave it in the details. In fact, I probably will do that. Y'all know I will. Because uh, that way you'll be able to see all the details in here. And I'm just dabbing it lightly because it is fresh clay. Hey, Catherine. We follow this line. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Love it, love it. And Tracy from Cra uh, Scrappy Rustics, if you're watching, <laughs> you're welcome to reach out to some of these ladies who are looking for this mold. And I apologize for not being able to remember your name today. Oh my gosh, it just left. Okay, y'all, that is gorgeous. Let me get that little extra piece of clay away right there. All right. I'm gonna hold on to this. Look at that, all the details in there. It looks kind of messy right now, but it's gotta dry, and then you've gotta, you know, gotta do some stuff to it. Let me get these brushes in the water and get this dry and then glue it on and then we'll do the resin. Well, they, we've got a few leaves too, just in case. Um, the one I cannot find that I really love is um, Deco Art Americana. And Hobby Lobby had it, has it all the time. But lately, I guess everybody loves it and can't, you know, they're not keeping it. They can't keep it. Okay, now that I'm drying it, I'm seeing some stuff that I missed. So I'm just going to get little tiny, tiny brushes and touch up. And when you're drying a mold, this always happens. I don't care how careful you are. It just does. Um, I was telling some ladies that last night, and it seems crazy, but it really, it really does happen. The white just wants to peek out of there. Okay. Hey, Deanne. Uh, oh, thanks for the stars, girl. I am going to get a little more terracotta on here because now I'm starting to see really right through it. 
this will go quick y'all because I've already got the base of it I'm just dragging it in the main parts I'm going to dry it a little bit, and then we're going to glue it on there so you can see how it looks on the... After you get it on the black, get all your little edges, because that is especially what you won't want to touch up later. You won't want to touch up anything that's up against that plaque. Thanks, so. Sue. And I'm sure it'll get stock soon, but right now it's just out. Okay, we got to dry the paint. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to use tight bond, quick and thick. It is the best by far that I've ever found to use for molds. And it doesn't really matter. It is a wood glue per se, but it doesn't matter if it's wood or not. I have never found anything I like to glue molds down any better than that. Okay, this is probably dry enough to be able to handle it now. All right, we're gonna put it on this plaque here that we painted the surface. Since it's the smallest one, we're going to put a little small pumpkin on that. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. Come off of there. <laughs> it's not want to come off. <laughs> come on, thing. I guess from the paint. Okay, now. It is loose now. Ta-da, flip it over, get the glue. Make sure you get it all around the stem. I pull this glue all the way to the edges and then I clean the excess off. And if you do that and you get too much on purpose, then you know it is attached and it's there for good. So I just get a my finger, popsicle stick, whatever, and just pull it towards the edges. I know it looks like I'm being rough, but I'm really not. Looks like a lot of glue. And I mean it is a lot of glue. It's not it's not a crazy amount of glue. It's just a little more than in fact that's a little much. So let's get a little of it off. That's perfect. Okay. Now we are going to put this down. I know y'all are holding your breath. It's okay. Okay, I love it. Always mess your edges down. And I'm going to show you how to get that extra glue off, too. Uh, da -da, where's the paper towel? Hey, Margaret. Okay. Just get um, a damp paintbrush. I just had a paper towel. I threw it away already. I did. Just get a damp paintbrush and then just go around the edges and pull it out. And it's going to dry clear. So you, it's okay to leave a little bit, just not a hump of it because then you're going to have a dried hump. So just get all of it that's coming out the edges. And this is really as much as you saw hardly any. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that cute? 
and it's not done, and this is so simple, but I just wanted to see how. Now I'm gonna add, these leaves might be too big for this. They are too big for this. These are for the big pumpkin. Hmm. Yeah, they are. They're too big for that. Okay, we're just gonna leave this one alone. And then we're gonna work on, let me lay them there to dry. We're gonna work on this big resin one. And I can still use these um, leaves. And when you're painting something on something, um, it doesn't matter if you use some of it. Um, hey, Tanya. It doesn't matter if you use part clay, part resin. Once you get it painted, it's not much different. So, okay, here's this big whopper. It's going to fit good on there. And there's some extra leaves. Now, where did my leaf go? I always lose it. Here we go. Again, we don't want to paint on that because we're not going to paint this whole box. So we're going to use the same colors. Now, if you wanted this pumpkin light blue or you wanted this pumpkin white, you just paint it whatever. Tonight, I'm in the mood to have orange pumpkins. And, and the ladies that know me well, that doesn't happen, doesn't happen very often. Hey, Kayla. I'm just going to go ahead and get some paint that I know I'm going to need in here, y'all. And I use these little trays. I get them by the box at Sam's. They are the best things to use for paint. Because when you're done, you just toss it in the trash. And you don't have to be careful with this one because it is hard as a brick. I mean, seriously, it's hard as a brick. So if you've never used um, resin before, that's how it that's how it ends up. I'm gonna paint this whole thing instead of all these little details, and then I'm gonna go back and paint the details. there's a lot of details in this one good idea good idea what's a good idea Tanya I probably said it and don't remember what I said <laughs> what did I say hey Christine um, the little container. What little container, honey? Oh, these little trays. Oh, yeah. I've been using them a long time. And you can get a box of these things at Sam's for so cheap compared to, I think you get like, oh my gosh, over a thousand. I don't know what is in there. A lot. And the last ones I got are bigger, and I got them by mistake. That's okay. I still use them. They were still like a fraction of a penny each, so I know. And you can, um, a lot of ladies, I give out a happy box in my private group every month, and I always stick, or if I can remember to, I stick a handful of those in there because they are wonderful, I think. You can really see the details, I guess, because I'm not being careful, but I'll show you in just a little bit. I don't know why my eyes are burning tonight. I think it must be allergies. It's stormed here, been out in the rain, and you're here finally. Hey, Carla. Girl, don't ever apologize for leaving me. It's okay at night. 
had no idea. Last night, y'all, I was in my private group three hours. I'm like, oh my gosh. I am so sorry, y'all. But they were hanging in there. We were having fun. And you can dry this resin, dry, 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 till it's all the way dry and just, you know, just do whatever to it. And as a matter of fact, if you want it to change shapes again, just warm it up and you can bend it a little bit. You can make it flatter because they have a tendency to form to whatever. So, you know, don't be surprised if you go to put this on something tomorrow and it's like, oh, it's a little rocky because it's wopsided a little bit. Um, Let's see. Um, just warm it up and put it on a flat surface and hold it down till it dries, till it cools, and you know, you're good to go. So, all right. All right, now let's dry this. I'm probably gonna take another coat, but I miss that. It was fun. We did have fun. I just uh, was shocked that it was 12 o'clock. I looked up the clock and went, whoa, it's 12 o'clock. When this paint is drying, you can really see the details. Y'all, I'm going to put some dark wax on this and pop all of these details out of this thing in just a few minutes as soon as I get it done. So you can't do all that with clay because you have, it's fragile. You have to be so careful with it. You can after it dries, but still, you gotta be careful with it. Let's see, I seen you using those trays and got them on Amazon. I probably sent, spent more money. Um, well, I'm not sure. They're st it's still cheap. I mean, did you get like a ton in that box? I just wish I had have realized that that was bigger than this because I like the little ones better, but it's still okay. Dry, dry, dry. Look at all the details in here. Now, I've got to go back over the leaves and the stems, but those details are crazy incredible. That is crazy. Isn't that gorgeous? 50? Oh, no. I think I spent, I want to say like 18, 20 for over a thousand, I believe. I can't remember, Diane. But just make sure that you get the smallest ones they have. If you get them again, or, you know, if you go to Sam's. I thought that's what I was doing this time, but I, apparently I don't know how to read or something, measure. I use the little cups from Sam's, the two ounce ones. Um, the cups. I like something flatter. I really like to use cardboard. I just, you know, forget to throw it over here because, and you know, you, cardboard's not so abundant. So, but when I have cardboard, like to mix colors or um, to dry brush especially, I love to use a piece of cardboard. Okay, dry that, and that pumpkin should be orange enough. Y'all, my hair is so straight and stringy. What are y'all searching for? The trays? Let's see what this tray says on the bottom, if it says anything. I don't know. It says uh, 25. I don't know. 
I would say that these are for like a small french fries. Yeah, they are food trays, but there's different size. They have three different sizes. There's one even bigger than that one, and then this one and that one. So, okay, let me get some leaves. Here. They are five hundred for twenty one dollars or seven fifty for twenty two. Oh, the same price, the same size. Next Sam's tree up here. Yeah. Um. I know we were serving one night at church uh, something, and I thought, oh my gosh, those things would be perfect for paint. And so, um, I brought a couple of them home just to see how they worked. And, you know, before I went and bought a case of them, and I thought, man, these things are perfect. So, the next time we went to Sam's, I bought a whole case of them. Now I'm getting the details of the vines and the leaves, y'all. I cannot wait to see this with decor wax on it. Diane, you must have went out to look for something because I know you were in here a few minutes ago, right? And if y'all don't use a turntable to paint, I don't know how you do it because I don't know I got this turntable maybe three years or so ago. I don't know how I crafted without one. I wouldn't want to do it again. And these are some big leaves on this pumpkin too. Which makes it very pretty. Y'all, I saw the worst motorcycle wreck today. I don't know why that just popped in my brain. But it was a trike. You know, the three motorcycle with three two back wheels in the front. Somebody either ran that man off the road or he hit a ditch or something, but flipped and flipped and flipped. That thing was in a bunch of pieces in somebody's front yard. I don't know how the man lived. But he did. There's a few places that's not quite dry that made like a bubble. That's okay. It'll dry the next go round. Okay. Now, there's the big leaves on there. Isn't that pretty? The details on these things are pretty amazing. You'd think I was trying to sell them, wouldn't you? I promise I'm not. I don't sell them. Yeah, def definitely, definitely was. Tanya, do you sell IOD? Do you sell molds and transfers and stuff?
Tenny, I haven't seen you on in ages. Do you know I very rarely ever get notifications from anybody anymore? I just have to like search and run across people now and then. I never ever get notifications and I'm not sure why I haven't changed anything. I don't know. Okay, the stem is good. Now I need to get a really, really fine brush and do those uh, vines. This is a very fine brush, y'all. I'm just using, you can hardly even see the brushes there. It's so teeny, but I want to stay on this, on this vine. I don't want to go off of it. But you know, instead of painting this pumpkin orange and doing all these details, you could paint all this one color and then put decor wax on this like a cream or something and wipe it all back. You could be done. It's It would be beautiful. And my eyesight and these lights are hard. Tanya did move. Bless your heart, you must have got settled in your own here. Um, are you still in the same area or did you change states or? Ooh, moving's horrible, a horrible job. I don't ever want to do it again, even though I know I'm going to have to. And uh, one of these days, I'll have to move this craft room somewhere. Ooh, that would be something else. But that's okay. It's just have to organize. That's what we got going on so far. The vines. Hey, Melissa. How are you tonight? I bought an IOD new release mold today, and I could not wait to do it. So, that's what I'm doing tonight. More pumpkins. And I thought I was done. Whew, it's terrible work. So, I, and Carla's got to do it again. Okay, I've just found more vine, y'all. Tanya Simon's still over here keeping me company. He stays down here with me all the time. Okay. Okay, let's see. Is that part of the pumpkin or is that a vine? No, that's part of the pumpkin, okay? So. There's pretty much the vines and the stem and all that. I'm going to dry this really, really good and put a little bit more green on the leaves because I can see it's kind of thin looking. 
Oh, I know. I can't. I can't wait to see you to know that you're doing it too. I wished I was there to help you unpack and decorate stuff. I'm just touching up some leaves. And then, okay, it looks good. Okay, let's get that. And Caroline learned today what dry paint. I'd say, nope, it's still shiny, it's not dry. And she'd say, is it dry? And I'd say, mm, nope, it's still shiny right there. See, it's not dry. Pretty soon should say, oh, that's shiny, it's not dry. I tell you what, that kid is smart as a whip. It don't take her long. I've got to get some orange here. I see I went out of lines. Somehow I smeared this green. And that will stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> oh, that's fun stuff, girl. I love to decorate stuff. And this has got to be completely dry before you put the core wax on it, pulled off. Um, if not, it'll just start smearing your paint dragging your paint with it. But it's drying really quick. It looks good. So I'll show you. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, let it cool off good and then I'll know it's good and dry. And then I'm going to put some core wax on it. I better get, should I add a few leaves? I don't know if Hmm. I just don't know. I'm not sure what those leaves are there for. needs these extra leaves. I'm not sure what the reason for that is, but I've got a few over, over here out of clay. So if I decide to add one, I can always, um, it's backwards. No, I can't. It's backwards. Of course it is. Where's the other one? I know I had a couple out of clay, did I not? Just one? Okay, let's try this. No, I don't like it there, so I'm not going to do it. What did you spray your tray last night with something after it dried? Hmm. My tray. Oh, I just, polycrylic. I just went over the transfer itself um, with polycrylic. And it's um, I do that on every um, uh, transfer. And Carolyn, to answer the question that we were talking about today, I'm going to have to watch the video because I didn't write that down. I did it as we went. So, okay, y'all. Let me find my favorite decor brush. With. And here's yours. That one's got some gold. I think that'll be okay. It's clean. 
Okay, this is Fusion Decor Wax. And this is gonna look scary. I'm literally covering this whole thing, especially in the cracks. I've got to get it down underneath. Okay, that should be that. Oh, I won't, but I, you know, I'll, I'll fix it. I'm not. Carolyn won the arch in my auction, and she got it today, and it was, it had fell apart and shipping or something, and it, it had all come apart, so we're going to fix that. All right, y'all, I'm taking a baby wipe, and I'm literally wiping it back. Not a paper towel. You can use a paper towel. There's something about the stuff in the baby wipe, and it makes me wonder if babies really need it on their butt. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, there's something about the baby wipe. And this is called Fusion Aging Wax. And you're going to see why it's called Aging Wax here in just a minute. This is my favorite, favorite part. I'm going to leave that dark at the bottom. Look at it now. How old and that beautiful. I'm gonna leave this like where I wiped it and I kind of stopped. It just helps make that more rounded looking there. So it's all in the leaves and all in the vines. See, it's all in there. Okay, I love it, love it. Now, where is my plaque that I fixed for the Make sure the words are not upside down. They are good. I love it. Okay, I'm going to use... Did I ever plug my heat tool in? No, but I'm going to... I want to put just a little bit in the center just to stabilize this. It makes a difference, don't it? And um, I'm going to have to let that heat tool heat up just a little bit, get enough out of there. I just need a fat drop, if that makes sense, because... This is a big surface and it's slick and it's, a, you know, it's heavy. It's a lot of resin. It's not heavy, but compared to some things, it's heavy. So you've got two choices when this happens. You can either tape it on or put some hot glue in just the center. I don't mix the glues together. I don't know how wise that is if you do. And uh, that'll stabilize it until all that other sets in. But... Um, I don't want to, uh, what was I say, gonna say? Something about, oh, I don't want to tape it on, even with blue tape, because this is paper. Because I, I would hate for it to start pulling the paper off, and then the whole thing's ruined. Uh, I wouldn't even, yes, this is the new IOD pumpkin release. Y'all, it's just going to take a second and let that. Hey, Linda, how are you tonight? This is what we just did. This is a new OD mold. And I'm not on purpose still doing pumpkins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it just happened to be something I picked up today. Um, I really went looking for it. Um. 
because I know they're going fast and it's a limited edition. And um, I was afraid if I started ordering on Etsy, it might not happen fast. And so I happened to find one today at a gift shop. Well, it's not really a gift shop. It's a, uh, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, what do you call it? Not consignment shop. Um, they have booths in there, like an antique mall, kind of like where my booth is. Two malls today. That will be my first. Which ones did you buy, Carolyn? The other one I bought was frames. And I think I got frames too. I wanted just the frame itself. This has a center, so I can add something to it. And it's okay, I'll use it. But um, eventually I want to order the other frames. Come on thing, I just need a little bit. Not quite, almost. I think this might need some kind of bow on top or something. Carolyn, did you order them or buy them? Did you already purchase them and have them or did you order them online? And which ones did you get? Oh, it's starting to come out. That means just give it another minute. Hey, Bobby. And where's the other one we did? Oh, this one's kind of, this one is, um, it's going to have to have a word or a bow or something. I don't know at the top because there's room. But this is the one we did with clay. And I did not put decor wax on that because it is wet. I mean, it's um, it's still fresh clay. I can do it later if I'm really careful. Hey, Bonnie. So that is the one made out of clay. And this one is made out of resin. And we just painted it and I put decor wax on it. Um, does the tip of the stem need to be painted? Um, it is. I know it might not look like it. That's glue right there. But that is painted. That right there is the back. If I put it down, I, I guess. Am I looking at it right? Yeah. No, that's glue. It's okay. Thanks for asking me to look, though, because um, y'all see things I don't see. Hey, Bonnie. All right, thing. Hurry up. Yay, we got enough hot glue to make this happen. I just put a little bit in the middle just to stabilize this. So when it goes down, okay, I want this as much in the center as I can get. I want this to be the star of the show. I really like this a lot. The little one, nah, not so much, but okay. And if you feel like it's not quite, it's okay, this is a good example. See under there? You see space under there? I'm going to show you how to fix that. This side is flush. This side looks great. So I'm not going to mess with that side too much. But if, if I don't get this very soft, then it'll flip that side up. So I have medallion. I like it. I've used it quite a bit. Okay, it's starting to lay down. In a second, I'm gonna push it down and I'm gonna hold it, especially the stem here because the stem is not really, really flat. Okay, now, you don't want this to be so hot it burns your hands, so check it out and make sure that you can hold it without it burning you. 
Okay. That is warm, so it's flexible. It's actually hot, but not so hot it burns you. It's flexible. If it's a little bit warm, probably not flexible. But by me holding this down, when it cools, it's going to cool in this flat shape. And it's not going to come up anymore. My nails are horrible. My dad said today, what have you got on your nails? I'm like, <laughs> either paint or no nail polish. <laughs> hey, Joanne. Okay. It is down. There's a little speck of something white. Okay, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. And the paper is perfect for this. I think it needs something here. I'm not sure. It's a box. Oh, golly. It's a box with a hanger. So it can hang on the wall or it can be a shel shelf sitter. Um, so... It probably could use a bow. I love this one so much. Um, I think I'm going to try. Hold on just a minute. I might try to make a little burlap bow and put it there. And let's just see how that looks. Just a little small one. That's a good size right there. Y'all just need to know, if you love it a lot, that's great, but it took a lot of resin. Compared to some of them, it took a lot of resin. Which one is the one I need to cut off? There it is. Okay. I like it too, Linda. I'm going to my good scissors. I should not be. Let me... Pull this out a little bit. I need to be making a really cutesy bow. I'm going to glue that down and I'll trim my little ends. I think this needs a bow right here. Everybody loves it. I do too. I love it a lot. I can't remember what this mold. Let's see. I have the package over here, I think. I paid $26 for this mold. I can remember when molds were like 17, but, you know, so was ground beef, so, you know. Okay, I really love it a lot. What you say? I like it. It's very 3D because it really is. And now you see how flush it is. See under there? Under there, it's all flat because I warmed it up and then I held it down while it cooled. So now it's not lifting up at all. So there you go. Nice shelf sitter. Is it top heavy or is it my board? Is it my... That would be horrible. No, it sits up fine. I thought, oh no. <laughs> hey, Gail. <laughs> I thought, oh no, is this so hot, top heavy it's going to fall over? But it's not. It sits up fine. It's just I have so much, 
you know, glue and stuff on there. It doesn't sit flat. So there you go. So which one do you like the best? Do you like the resin or the clay or the big one or the small one? And they both come in the same mold, y'all. Just so you know, that comes in the same, the little one comes in the same um, mold as this one. So anyway, I just thought I'd like to share that with you guys because that is my newest purchase. What did I do with it? And I'll show it to you. I don't know what I did with it. Um, is it under there? Nope. Anyway, you'll have to take my word for it. It has both pumpkins and some extra leaves in there. Um, I get busy and move stuff out of my way. Next thing you know, I can't even find it. And stuff hides under this um, turntable. Oh, and y'all, I guess I am going to have to make one more great big pumpkin. I guess I better make one for myself. Um, um, I bought this today at a antique junk store. There was a booth that was like 80% off. Look how gorgeous that is. It's heavy too, so it's got to be on a big pumpkin. I paid 90 cents for this thing. Maybe a dollar. It was it was a dollar and it was a dollar. I like the large one too. I love it. But I guess, you know, and it'd even be pretty, Emma, if if you put it um I was thinking about how I was gonna do this today. And if you do both of them out of clay, or especially one out of resin and one out of clay, you could still cut the clay. So you could make the clay and then measure, like lay this up against it and like overlap it and then cut a section out of the clay and then butt them together. They would look like one was in front of the other, you know, side by side together. So that would be cute and then add a few leaves, I think. But um, I know. It needs a big pumpkin, don't it, Emma? So, um, I'm, I love it. I'm pleased with it. This, uh, anyway. All right, y'all. Thanks for hopping on and hanging out while we do this thing. It is not glued. It's still wanting to pop up off this paper. Um, I'm gonna have to set something heavy on it so it'll, it'll grab that paper. Okay, y'all. Gosh, this was a long live, too. This was an hour and 45 minutes, but I knew it was going to take a little while because, you know, I've never done this before. Not, well, I have, but not this one. So, I enjoyed it, too. All right. Good night, ladies. Thanks for hopping on. If you're watching me right now and that red live button's up there, I can see it right now. It means I'm live. But if you're watching me right now and that red live button is not there any longer, that means I have been live and you're watching the replay. So you get to watch the replay and go to all the best details and miss the chatter and all that if you want to. But thanks for being here. Okay, good night, you guys.